Hey there. We're thrilled to announce the launch of our inventory management feature for custom products. It's now in public beta, meaning we are actively testing and fine-tuning it to ensure it meets your needs perfectly. But rest assured, you can still access the feature and effortlessly manage your inventory like a pro. In this video tutorial, we will guide you through all the steps of using this new feature. We will show you how to add variants, track inventory levels, set low stock, and all the good stuff. So maybe grab yourself a cup of coffee, or your favorite drink, and let's dive into this. So first of all, why would you want to track inventory for your custom products? Well, it's quite simple. By having a clear understanding of your inventory levels, you can make better decisions about restocking and pricing. This will ultimately lead to increased sales and customer satisfaction. But you might be thinking, why would I need a dedicated inventory management solution for my custom products? Well, let's say you're selling custom gaming computers. Within a computer, some of your most popular components are this cool lime green case, this motherboard, and that NVIDIA GeForce graphic card. It can become tricky to manage the inventory for custom orders for each of these parts. That's when our inventory management feature comes in handy. By tracking your inventory levels with Kickflip, you can ensure that you always have enough in stock to fulfill orders and avoid disappointing customers with out-of-stock notices. Let's see how it's done on the admin side of things. I'll open that gaming computer customizer right here. As we said, this product contains many parts, the case, the front design, RAM, motherboard, etc. We want to track the stock levels for each of those parts. Let's head to the inventory tab right here and let's create our first variance. What is a variant? It's either a single answer from a question or a combination of answers from multiple questions. For example, let's pick the frame color because we want to track the inventory of each of the options. Let's hit Create. Boom. Six variants have been created, one for each option, white, black, red, pink, and so on. Now let's enter our stock levels for each variant. Let's say we have 20 items for each color. Except for lime, as it's in high demand, we'll pretend we currently have only one left in stock and unfortunately forgot to reorder. I'll hit save to confirm the changes. Now let's head to our online store and witness the magic unfold. Let's pick lime, the coolest color for a gaming computer, that's for sure. And let's hit add to cart and check out. Now, if your coffee has kicked in and you've been paying attention, you know we have just ordered the last lime-colored frame, also known as neon green. I'll refresh the product page and let's see what happens. If I attempt to pick a lime case, the option is still there, but since it's out of stock, a tooltip pops up to inform the customer that it's currently unavailable for purchase. When I click on Add to Cart, an additional warning tooltip pops up and the choice panel automatically scrolls to the question where I need to select a different answer. So I'll go back to the inventory section in Kickflip. And guess what? The quantity of lime case is now at zero. Time to reorder. All right, that's a wrap for today. We've briefly covered Kickflip's inventory management feature, but trust us, there's a whole lot more under the hood to explore. We hope you'll enjoy using it and look forward to hearing your feedback. To dive deeper into the topic, we highly recommend checking out the documentation link in the description. Have fun exploring.